so hello everyone uh, welcome back to the channel today we are going to discuss on an experiment uh, called as uh, electromechanical uh, overcurrent relay so basic function of this uh, relay is uh, we are setting a value of the current and uh, if the system picks up any current whose value is more than that of the set value then it is treated as a overcurrent fault and relay is calibrated in such a way that to operate so let us have the relay first so here uh, we are seeing this uh, which there is a mechanism called as a disc which is wound using a, a spring which is made of phosphor bronze so by designing it in such a way the disc is designed such that depending on the magnetic flux received depending on the value of the current the speed of rotation of the disc is calibrated so as per the construction of the relay there are uh, certain things here let us check them one by one so here the knob first one what we see is called as a time multiplier setting knob default value of this is 1 so and here we see something called as a plug setting so plug settings are away in range of 0.5 amps for this particular relay so 0 0.5 0 0.75 1 amps 1.25 amps and up to 2 amps this relay will work okay so basically we connect this uh, via current transformer to step down the actual load current so here we can see the rotating disc behind that we have this solenoid coil which is called as also a control coil there is a control circuit and this is a basically a relay so now we have set it to 1 amps what we call it as a plug setting so here uh, whatever current which is more than 1 amps the relay treats it at the fault current so i have to study on that let us have a look at the connection diagram for this particular relay so here uh, from the three phase one of the phase is taken as a current transformer via current transformer it is given to the uh, magnetic disk of the relay and uh, the disk rotates proportionately to the direction of the current so now we have set the current as 1 amps that is plug setting and time multiplier setting knob we have kept it to 1.0 which means 1 so first we keep the control module in the set position we switch on the supply okay so set position is used to keep the set current and then we test it so timer bypass circuit is on if we don't keep it on then within 20 seconds the relay will trip and it is not possible for us to get the characteristic so now we keep the switch in uh, set mode we press the stop button and reset when we press the start button and now we slowly vary the variac and set the required fault current so now we are setting it to 1.5 amps approximately because 1 amps is our set current so any current above 1 amps is treated as fault so we are setting it 1.5 amps to see whether the relay will trip or not now the settings is done since this is a electromechanical relay let us wait for the disc to come back to its original position without this we should not start it so now we keep the switch in the test mode and press the start button and we can see that disc is rotating as per the set calibration and uh, disc has detected that there is a fault current because there is a magnetic flux produced which is uh, more than the required value so now we can see that uh, at one particular point the relay trips and we can hear the beep sound so now relay has tripped at 18.34 seconds for the plug setting of one time multiplier setting one so let us reset the flag reset the testing module once again keep it the testing kit in the set mode and let us set some other value of current so now we are uh, setting approximately 2 amperes of current now 1.8 amperes we have set or 2 amperes let us wait for the disk to come back to the original position and let us test it now this fault is more severe than the previous so it should trip faster than the previous value so previous value was around 18 seconds now for the fault rate of 1.5 amps now the fault current is 2 amps and uh, the previous value so it is tripping at 
15 seconds. So, it has tripped the trip indicator is glowing and we can hear the beep sound. So, similarly we can conduct various trials for uh, different values of uh, uh, current for different time multiplier setting for different uh, plug settings etcetera all these calculations we can uh, do different trials and errors. So, let us see what is the specimen calculation formula here which is required to conduct the experiment. So, plug setting multiplier is the main formula which is fault current divided by plug setting. So, plug setting we have kept it to 1 amps and what so, similarly we calculate the time setting multiplier or time multiplier setting and we tabulate the values. So, whatever TMS we are keeping, whatever plug setting fault current is decided by us, we calculate the plug setting multiplier and note down the times. So, as per that expected graph will look something like this, this one we call it as a inverse characteristic and uh, the inverse characteristic depends on the steepness of the curve. So, that is the experiment which is very simple. Thank you.